Hey, hey guys. Alright, we're gonna be flying out the P47 D25. I've flown this thing out probably about a thousand times or close to it. I'm gonna let you know now. The energy retention on it, it's not what, what it once was. The speed on it, it's not what, what it was back, back then. Back then, you used to be able to carry like a whole team by yourself. You used to be able to get four or five kills just by yourself with this plane. But right now, you can't do that. So you need a different tactic. The only way that this plane can dominate is one, either having a high energy advantage or teamwork. So here's teamwork. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys two little tricks you can still use. But yeah, you know, because of the lack of the energy retention and the horsepower, you can't really fully use them. But I'm going to show you them anyway. Right? Now, with the P-47, Okay, with the P-47, you can't actually initiate BNZ like how you do in normal planes, okay? But I, I almost got about 900 plus kills in this plane, and, the, and because of the experience I got, I noticed that you have to lower the enemy first and then go for the kill. Lower the enemy first and then go for the kill. This, this is because of the characteristic of um, hand, the flight handling in this plane, mainly. So you're gonna see us about, I think there's about five or maybe six enemies, oh, one, one just went down. Five or six enemies, and there's about only four of us. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna slowly lower the enemy one by one by one. This means I could be diving into the enemy and get them to follow me lower, or just simply being a threat above them and forcing them low. This is it, this is, this is what works. I, I took this plane up to about 9,000 meters, and the horsepower isn't there anymore to uh, do high altitude fighting anymore. So I tried that at, l at lower altitudes, below 7,000, 8,000 meters. It, look, it gets it get caught by a lot of planes. You get caught by the J2Ms, LA-5s, LA-7s, Yaks, the Germans. So it's, yeah, it's not exactly what it used to be. So, th this is what, this, so because of that, this is what we gotta do. So just gotta lower them one by one slowly and then go for the kill and as you can if you, if you look at the radar in my uh, on, the, on the screen you can see us doing it right now I'm dragging them low while while I'm dragging them low my teammates are setting up behind me to kill them but remember one of the videos I, I told you if you got if you drag the Japanese below 3,000 or 2,000 meters for a while, their engines burn out a lot more quicker than yours. So use that to your advantage. And what's what's the cool thing about it is none of us got killed, even though we're slightly outnumbered right now. None of us got killed. So look at that. As soon as, as soon as my players go in, I go I go back back into the fight to support them because they're going to be dragging players al along the. Um, well, not along, below them. So this is all we do. This is this is probably one of the purest BNZ games I've been in for a while. Also, if you want to know more about the manual engine controls, um, I think Kiwi uh, put up a video about it. I'll, I'll I'll have a link to his channel later on. Oh, well, in the descriptions. So look, look at this, we're lowering them, lowering them, lowering them, and yeah, uh, look, as soon as they turn, they lose energy. They got nowhere else but go, you know, hit the, hit the deck as soon as they turn, most of the time, because when they turn, they, they got no um, speed. If they got no speed, they're going to get killed pretty easily. So these guys are turning, 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 more they turn, more they lose speed they lose speed more they um, lose altitude and look at that we're almost coming to the point that they're at sea level so this is this is the technique you got to use with um, this P47 you just got to lower them and then be empty So 
so it's almost like uh, they're, they're fishing a barrel right now. I just got caught watching. So one by one, they're about to go down soon. That's right. I'm, I'm about to get a hit on this Ki-61. Right into the engine. I know he's done. I don't need to do much after that. I know. He, he's too far away to land on his carry. He's right there. It's way too far. So, after, after that KR61 goes down, all those zeros, I know their engines are pretty pretty hot right now. So, most of them will be trying to get, get into the carriers, cool off, and, and just recover, but there's no chance. No, no, with the not with the teammates that I got because we all know what's going on, what we're about to do. So make him turn, make him lose speed, he loses uh, altitude. Look, I could have showed you a game where I got four or five kills, but if I can't show you how to execute uh, a tactic, it it's useless, you know. It's it, it doesn't help. So this is why, even though I got I only got one kill, I found this this uh, video to be more educational than those hyped up games where you get four or five kills and then I just tell you how good this plane is. It doesn't, you know, it's not gonna help. So that's two down. I'm not gonna go to the carriers by myself. <laughs> I thought. I think I think uh, I noticed my friendly going there, and I decided, oh. I better see the reason why I'm actually going in with him. I don't want all that AAA just to be concentrating on that P47 that's in front of me. So basically, I'm, I'm trying to gain some of that uh, AAA that's going at him on me, so he doesn't get shot down. Little things, guys. Little things matter. <laughs> but again, at high altitudes, this plane it's not what it what it once was. So. There's no point using it like that anymore. Um, I think that's game, yeah. I think that's game. Um, on the next clip, you guys are gonna enjoy this. You guys are really gonna enjoy it because um, because of how big and heavy this plane is, a lot of players underestimate it. So with a little bit of speed, you, you can do a certain overshoot maneuver. Um, there's a there's a YouTuber by Adam514. He has a very detailed description of how to execute that move. So I'll, I'll have his link, link there in my description as well. Now, there's a fuckable 190. I just shot, shot, I shot him up, but then I ended up overshooting because of that P... Well, I was forced to overshoot him because of that P47 chasing me. Now, watch this. To execute this maneuver, all you need is a little bit more speed. But because you're a P47, they have this idea that you're slow. Now watch this. I'm not going to cut my throttle fully. But... I'm just going to bait him into this left and right, left and right overshoot. Because I keep, keep my speed up, when he overshoots, he can't get away from me that, that easily. That right there, that's exactly what happened. You try to get away, and nah, it's just not gonna happen. And, and I just start catching him when he realizes it. And well, it was already too late, so I just chased him down. So there are little tricks you can pull, but yeah, you need you either need an energy advantage or a team advantage. Well, not team advantage, players who know what they're doing. But I am going to show you what this plane used to be able to do back in the day, in the next scenario. Come on. Finally, come on. Okay. Done, I think. There we go. Alright. Okay, back in the day, I used to take this thing out 7,000, 8,000 meters, and this is what I used to do. Out, like, 
back then, I, I really feel like you, know, you could get up to a top speed a lot more faster than what it can now. But I'm going to show you the maneuver that um, I used to do. It doesn't matter if it was coming towards me or going away. I, I just, what you have to do at high altitudes, you have to merge extremely closely together and then uh, force him to turn. When you do that, you got a massive energy advantage. So this is what used to work back in the day a lot more better. This, I keep keep straight, all right. And this this, this is what, what what I used to do. I keep straight, do it about 10, 15, and then I go into this high yo-yo. Okay. The reason why I do a high yo-yo at these altitudes and not an Immelman, because doing a high yo-yo, you turn towards the enemy faster. Okay. You turn towards the enemy faster, and if I do an Immelman. I'm gonna go straight up and then it takes me a while to come down and gain energy, gain that um, speed again going towards it. So doing a high yo-yo, it's a lot more fast and it conserves, um, it conserves a little bit less energy but it's still enough for um, you to attack um, the enemy behind you. So I, so I, so I get a little bit of um, space. Then I'm just gonna turn in, high yo yo him right into it. Look, we all know the the Italians they're quite bad at high altitude, so you know if, if you do this against a BF 109 F1, if you know F4, it doesn't work as well anymore. BF 109s can almost keep up with you. That's the that's the scary thing right now. Now. Go straight up. And I turn it into a rolling scissor. At, at these altitudes, remember, your plane can turn, dive, you know, twist, <laughs> do whatever better than any other plane. Well, not anymore, but mo but against Italians, yeah, it's done. So we we go into this little scissor, and yeah. That's it. So I hope you guys learned something, you know, like I'd rather be um, straight up truthful with you guys with certain plays, maneuvers and tactics rather than tell, <laughs> tell you guys it's a good plan, it's not. This is a support fighter, okay? It's a support fighter and secondary uh, thing being it's a good uh, bomber, very good bomber too. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have a good day. See you guys later.